Hello everyone, Emilio here. Today I'm going to draw a polar bear. Really, really love polar bears. Um, I went to Ch uh, Colchester Zoo. Colchester? I think it was Colchester Zoo um, the other day. And I saw some pink flamingos. It was raining, so rainy. <laughs> and then I saw giraffe. So I painted these a while ago, but I love painting animals. So all you're going to need today, if you've got chalk pastels, this is so if you have chalk pastels, great. If you don't have pastels, use colour pencil uh, or watercolour pencil or just any chalks. And if you don't want to use chalks, it's okay. You could just use pencil. Um, but first of all, we're going to draw the polar bear. So all you need, first of all, is a piece of paper and a pencil. Hopefully this works because I'm not sure if it does. So you want to do a line. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you want to do a line a bit like a rainbow. So a line like a rainbow. And then after you've done your little line like a rainbow, you're going to do two little triangles, a little bit like ears. Think of them as like bear ears. And we could just do a little line there, a little line there. Then you're going to go down. So you're going to go, da -da -da. just go down. It's almost like you're doing a teddy bear's face. And then you're going to go down the other side. Doesn't have to be equal, do not worry, because he's kind of pulling a face. Then you're gonna do a really cool nose. I always tend to do bigger noses than reality, <laughs> but it's because they look kind of cute. So you want like a little snout, a little nose, and then you're gonna just do underneath the nose. So you're just gonna kind of go, and then you're gonna go, and if you want, you can just touch that bit there and just go up just to make it look like he's kind of got this little snout doing that. Then you want to do two little itty bitty eyes. So one there, you can do any eyes you like. You could do a cartoon eye, you could do any eye you like. His face is looking slightly, slightly wonky, but should be okay. Then we want to do, he's got this awesome leg that's so big. So we're just going to touch this bit here and you're going to go, just down, just down, down, down. It can be a wobbly line, it's okay. Then we're gonna do a little line there. He's kind of moving his little um, paw. So we're gonna go up and then Then, if you can't do that, don't worry because it's a bit tricky. He's kind of folding his paw so it kind of looks quite cute because you're gonna have little, little clawy bits. And then all you want to do is a little picture. Uh, all you want to do is touch this bit there and go la la la. And then you've got a chunky. I think I didn't even know this until I was a bit older that polar bears' skin was black. Um, so if you were to not have any hair on the polar bear, it would be all black, which I thought was quite interesting. Um, so you've got a big chunky bit there. You're going to go down like that, and then. This is his big legs, he's like Rrr. And then you've got the tummy. Now the tummy's gonna go da -da -da. and next to it, he's very hairy, so you can make it look like hair in a minute. <laughs> but you're gonna do another leg. It's just a line. And then one more leg that goes off the page. For me anyway. It doesn't need to go off the page, but it does for me. So little line. Now he's got a really big back, so we're just going to touch where the ear is and go up, and then stop. He's a real big one, this one, <laughs> and he's going to come off the page. It's going to go. So he's a real big kind of um, polar bear. Now, when you finish the the feet. If you want to, you could just do a line like this because it looks like he's in the snow then. It looks kind of cool. I'm not happy with his face if I'm completely honest with you. Um, so you can make it kind of, you can kind of shade it to look how you want because at the moment I'm not enjoying what it looks like. So you can make it look a little bit more like how you want. So once we've done that, We'll put this little bit as well, oh, be kind of cool. Okay, once we've done that, <laughs> you can fiddle with it a little bit. Right, once you've done that, what I'm gonna do is these are my chalk pastels. 
Now, a polar bear is not necessarily white. He's like yellowy, bluey white. It looks like blue because of the snow, so I'm going to get a blue. I'm not going to get too much of a blue. So I'm going to get this blue, and I'm going to get a grey, and I'm going to get a black. So I've got blue, black, grey. Now you can use this with watercolour pencil. You can do a normal coloured pencil if you like, as long as you blend a little bit. So the blue, I'm going to do just a little bit. Let's have a look. If you think about um, snow, you kind of got blue bits of snow. So it isn't actually blue, but it looks like blue. So we're going to kind of add that in our picture. So if you you can pause the video now if you like, but it's just going to be just dotting in some of the blue. Okay. Once you've dotted in some of that blue, you're going to do grey. So we're going to get the grey. And that's a bit darker, the grey, so we're just going to go, this is a bit of an, an adult thing to do, because it's a little bit tricky, but give it a go. So you're just going to add it where you see what I do, because it's about shadow. We're trying to create the look of shadow, so it's still white, the polar bear, but you're going to have some shadow. Okay, then... If you think about it, it might sound strange, but yellow makes the um, polar bear sort of look like there's some snow on him because of the sunlight. So if we just take a tiny bit of yellow, try not to do too much because he ends up looking like an ice cream or something. Something yummy. Okay, we'll only do a bit here and there. So maybe you want to, again, pause the video and just do it here and there. Then, last colour you need is black. Now, you've got to be super, super careful with the black. So the nose is going to be black. And what I like to do is leave a bit of white, because it just looks quite cool. You could go over. The eyes are black. And a little bit of the ear is black in there. I wouldn't outline the whole thing. Although if you want to, outline it maybe with grey, because if you do it with black, it looks a bit bit too thick for line, you know. But if you want him to look hairy, you could do a ziggy zaggy line in grey around some of it, because it would look kind of cool. So maybe zigzagging a bit of blue, whatever you like, but you're going to take your little finger and you're just going to blend over. So you're going to smudge. Not much, you don't even have to smudge if you don't want to, but it kind of brings all the colours together and it looks kind of cool. It looks cool. So I did this on a mural on a wall and it looked so cool. It was one of my favourites actually. So um, yeah, it's nice to draw Whoa, polar bears because they're lovely animals. So there we go. There we go. There's my polar bear. Now, if you've done it with a pencil, you could, if you've drawn the whole thing with a pencil, you can take your rubber and you could rub out a little bit of where the line's too dark because then it looks more like the snow and the sunlight shining on him. Do you know what I mean? Because if you take away the harsh line, it looks kind of cool. So we're just going to take his line away. I'm using a white chalk over my black pen, but because you've used a pencil, you can just get a rubber and rub out. So yeah, there is my polar bear looking kind of cute. You can sort of play around with it if you like. Just sort of play around with the face, see what you want. You can sort of create little different things that you like. You can do cartoon eyes, you can do a smaller nose, whatever you like. Okay. So there's my polar bear. I think next I might do, I like the idea of a penguin. We're doing the project at the moment, which is the North and the South Pole. So um, yeah, I think it'd be kind of cool to do maybe a penguin, but I'll see. So yeah, have a great time drawing the polar bear. And uh, like you normally do, just send me pictures and let me know how it all goes. 
I was just thinking of getting a bit of black which I think I've semi lost so I've got this other colour you could do the little claws yeah there you go Ooh. okay speak to you soon and enjoy doing the polar bear